This is the world that we live in. I feel myself get tired. This is the world. and welcome to BM Finance. On this edition of BM Finance, we'll look at ways to make money as the economic crisis comes to an end, survey students at BM and get advice from our in-house experts. In the present unstable economic climate, a solid business idea has never been more important. As the global economy comes out of recession and starts to recover, it is important to be well placed in the market. Therefore, we start a program by going to the BM Finance Board of Directors and look at the top 5 ways to make money at the end. The board is now in session. Number 5. Tax the unofficial smoking areas, the park for students and behind villa for boarding staff. Number 4. Run an early warning alarm system for surprise room checks. Number three, sell fake honor roll certificates. Number two, open the Starbucks and the kebab shop in the cafeteria. Number one, buy shares in BM, largest revenue maker. Have that for humanity. This session of the board is now over. Back to you, Lorenzo. Thank you, members of the board. However, I have just been passed a note from our legal department and I've been instructed to tell everyone who's watching the show that no matter what anyone says, this is not an authentic honorable certificate. Last year, at this time, BM Finance conducted a survey among the BM teachers. And in all honesty, they didn't do that right. In fact, we have some footage to show you just how they did. What is the difference between a stock and a bond? Um. What is the difference between a common stock and preferred stock? No idea. Who are the BRIC countries? Who are the pardon me? What is the difference between a stock and a bond? <laughs> That's a very good question. I've got no idea whatsoever. Therefore, this year we thought we would do a similar survey, but with BM students. Of course, we make sure to select completely random students. They do not have time to practice their questions beforehand. We now go to our field reporter, Georgie. Whoa. Oh, hi. Do you have some time to answer my question? Of course. Do you know who's the head of the ECB and the Fed? Of course. Um, you mean the European Central Bank and the American Federal Reserve? The head of the ECB is Jean-Claude Trichet and the head of the Fed is Ben Bernanke. That's interesting. Thank you. Interesting place to find Georgie. In addition, we found one right answer. The students are off to a good start. Back to Georgie for the second question. Hi there. Can you please answer my question? No. Hello there. Do you have some time to answer my question? Yeah, sure. Do you know what is a reverse stock split? Yeah, reverse stock split reduces the number of shares and increases the share price proportionally. For example, you have two shares cost 5 francs each, but after reverse stock split, you, they will turn into one share worth 10 francs. Ultimately, it doesn't have any effect on the real value what shareholders own. Hmm, thank you. Always doing what it takes to get the job done. What a reporter. Another right answer from the students, who are still perfect after two questions. Once again, back to Georgie. Hi there, do you have a minute to answer my question? Yeah, sure. Do you know what is a dividend yield ratio? Well, you know, it's like a comparison between the dividend the firm pays um, to the share price. And it's calculated by dividing the dividend per share by the price per share. Hmm, thank you, that's cool. Did everyone see what I just saw? I'm not sure how he did that, but I'm sure that the students are now 3 for 3. I'm not sure what to expect next, but we'll return to Georgie. Hello, can I ask you a question? 
Yeah, sure, no problem. What is the FTSE? Ah, that's an easy one. The FTSE is the weighted stock index of the 100 biggest companies listed on the London Stock Exchange. It is run by Financial Times and London Stock Exchange. Great answer, and a cool shirt by the way. Okay, okay, I know what you're all thinking. That really is a nice shirt. In addition, that continues the students' string of correct answers. Once again, back to Jordi. Hi, can you answer my question? Sure, I can answer your question. Can you listen and explain three main financial statements of a business? Yeah, I got you. Uh, three, one, the profit and loss statement, which basically shows the costs, revenues and profit of a business over a year. The balance sheet shows the assets, liabilities and capital of a business. And three, cash flow statement, which shows the cash coming in and cash going out of a business over a year. Great answer. You can almost teach this. Sick. In case you're wondering, that was Malcolm's cousin from California. I don't know about you, but I can see the family resemblance. That ends our student survey. Great job, students. Perfect score. Amazing. Speaking of amazing, we are now joined by the kings of cash, Doctors Finance. Hello, I'm Malcolm the Money Making Millionaire. Hello, I'm Yvonne the Insane Investor. And together we are Doctors, Doctors Finance. On today's session of Doctors Finance, we answer questions from the Briamal community. Let's go to the first question. Doctors Finance, I've been in the school for a while. I wonder who is the richest teacher in the school? Now that's a very good question. Definitely Ms. True, worth an approximate 300 million francs. In addition to her numerous years of teaching, she is also one of Wall Street's top investors, plus the inventor of the jackass trade. Making money off stupid people. Question number two. Doctor's Finance, I was wondering if you could give me any advice on how to make my literature lessons more interesting. As you know, it's difficult to try and engage some students in texts such as Jane Eyre or the poetry of John Keats. Yes, we can. In fact, we are both minority owners of the MGM Studios. You won't believe the number of boring stories that are proposed for movies. Our advice is to do what movie makers do with these stories. Special effects. Explosions, blood, computer graphics, you name it. And even an occasional romantical scene. Thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll take those ideas into consideration. Don't worry, we got your back. Next question. Dr. Spiderman, can you please give me an advice how can I get on Ms. Ball's good side? To be honest with you, that's a very difficult question, but we can help. Yeah, it reminds me of our first takeover where we had to make a good relationship with the owner. It also reminds me of a lesson my mother taught me. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. Yeah, so don't always be so demanding, talking about how I'm always punished, talking about honor roll, talking about how I need to drop a class. Yeah, so don't just demand, but give a little bit of something back, like some chocolates and flowers. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thank you a lot. Now I don't have a punishment on the weekend, but Butcher does. <laughs> no problem. I'll drink to that. Next question. There's finance, we were wondering, do you know who owns this business? Um, sorry girls, I, I really don't know. Yeah, couldn't tell you either. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. See you next time. So much I never knew. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you all so much for joining us here on BM Finance. Tune in next time when we further examine the jacket's trade and take a look at global exchange rates. Good night and Happy Saint Nicholas! <laughs> <laughs>